Hey, it's me, Tech. We're going to be playing some Alan Wake 2. It's going to be amazing. It's a beautiful story narrative that I highly recommend that you either play yourself or watch. Don't miss out on this beautiful title. But other than that, I hope you enjoy the show. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. I would hate to fucking wait there. Next to a, like, a fucking bloated, rotting corpse. Dude, the smell this here must be something Anderson. fierce. Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From a lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting. Yeah. When you're ready, yeah. I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was definitely dead. nude. Ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that part out yet. Mm hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. Gives me the creeps. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy, though. <laughs> Probably got used to it now to the mix of booze and seawater. It would, oh yeah, oh my god, yeah. I uh, I say that like I know, but I'm just sort of awestruck. What the fuck is this tree? Holy shit! That's some big ass feet. Tracks, barefoot, nightingales. They Why is this paper warping? It makes no sense. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Yeah. What are you going to do about this paper that's on the ground? Ma'am? Okay. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm hmm. Like a manuscript. Page of a story. Uh -huh. <laughs> Killer left him a message. <laughs> the text is about us. The victim was one of their own FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the words. The words. These, These words, words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Fuck. That. Someone's been watching Fuck. Us. Fuck that. Fucking. You were right. <laughs> this is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either we I... dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. <laughs> I should profile Nightingale about this page. Yeah. Yeah. Not what I wanted. Okay, well, it might be what I wanted. Oh, right. Profiling. It's where I ask the picture about name questions. Hello. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. He must dig out. Something was put inside him. In his uh -huh. chest. I must find out what. Our first manuscript page. 
Footprints emerging from under a rock. Yup. Trail that has gone cold. I think yep. he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. And Gale has something hidden inside of him. Read the words. These words felt like a message. Someone is playing it. Makes sense. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Yeah? Is that what? That, 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 that's the natural conclusion for that? Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. You know what's something that I've, I think is kind of interesting? What the fuck? A witch with no heart. A strange echo of Al murder. Hmm. There is no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after this cauldron shape. And yet there are many mysterious stories about the lake. It being a gloomy doorway to the underworld of a witch those cauldron the lake really was. The legend tells of tells that when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. He was drowned. Her drop ladle grew into a strange tree named the witch's ladle. A woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers. If she was not a witch before, she was now. She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake, and then she took out his heart and locked it in a box. With the heart, she will summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf, or so the legend goes. Yeah. Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Like a scene from a thriller. I hate all of it. The text said... I hate all of it. I believe it. But what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do... What? Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their desires? Are we characters or the audience? Witnesses to their design? All the above? It's all about I'm the control. audience deciding what happens to who don't let it drag you in too late. I'm already hooked. I need the next chapter. You made it back. Good. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. You didn't say anything Deputy, about flooding. I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure. But the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Thanks. Thanks. There you go. There's there's your manners. The Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut. I don't like that diners. Sounds good. Alan Wake and diners do not go together. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. No, actually, I think they've seen plenty of gruesome things here. I think they're actually sort of desensitized to it. That guy seemed like he was actually just chilling. 
I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Is that a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the image jokes in this... coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. Ooh. Uh Oh? Oh, I see. Okay, so it's, um, you know, it's an Easter egg because, you know, all of the eggs that are surrounding the box. Uh, ha 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 The most nervous laughter you could possibly summon. Turns out I should be exploring. Oh, I misclicked. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera to yeah. record a. Snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. How do you how do you want me to wake you up, Knox? <laughs> Am I gonna get like your cell number or but I'm just gonna call you on Discord? So confused. Oh uh, right, the shortcut key. I thought we had a, a second key need. Alright. Hello, partner. You're going that way, huh? I'm gonna go this way. I'll be back in a second. Roger. A <gasps> uh, rare wildlife. Finally made it to Cauldron Lake. The fence was easy to climb over the proper gear and skills, which I thankfully possess. Next goal, spotting the rare and exclusive orange crowned wobbler. A little late in the season, but hopefully I could catch it before the journey now. I noticed an intriguing behavior in the surrounding common bird life. They seem to be alarmed and swarm around the lake. No birds of prey nearby. There are some strange sounds carried on the wind, however. Nothing I can recognize or explain. Getting a little concerned, I might have to find another spot somewhere safer. Sounds are getting closer. Moved inland. Foliage is stunning. Must come back in the fall. Had to stop and stretch this gorgeous vine maple. This is the way the. I can't pronounce that. The beard hangs off of it. That's why these trees are better than people. Speaking about people, I saw some drunk guy staggering around in the forest earlier, acting weird. Maybe drugs? At my distance. Could probably find another spot. So annoying. We have a witness. We've got a fucking witness, and it, it's a bird boy. After I saw the weirdo guy, I decided to change spots again. Moved up the mountain up a bit and found a fantastic overlook to the camp. But I'm more interested in this onion grass. Invasive, but edible and surprisingly tasty. Started hearing wolves or wild dogs something like 10 minutes ago, but they sounded wrong. Like rabies? want to leave, but the sun is going down and my stupid phone is dead. Gonna hide in the tent and hope they go away. Something is not right about this place. I got more evidence, baby. From just fucking off. I should never find follow the trail, is what I've learned. Here we are. What's Let's up, nerd? Back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Whew. Oh, is that their car? We came. We came here in the. 
All right. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? Hey, chat, watch this. Continue. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Yes. Yeah, impressive work so far. With your uh. technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Thrilled? Mystery. I don't think any of this is great for fucking like anybody. I don't I don't know about you. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. Oh, my tooth. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Finally. Coffee. Oh yeah, we're running much smoother now. Oh yeah. Worth. Listen, it's about the game today. Just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> Don't know, don't care. <laughs> How much have you had? Not enough. That's all much. Not right. to toot my own horn, but I am pretty darn sure my... <laughs> I mean, our float will be the belle of the ball at this year's Deer Fest. Just a few more days. It's a nice looking float for sure. <laughs> this is my first Deer Fest, so I don't know what to expect. Really. I'm going to go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Can I have coffee? Oh dear, coffee. Come get percolated. Percolated. I love your advertising. Are you as comfortable as I am? You don't think the amount of hot caffeinated beverages you've downed has anything to do with it? I don't know what you're talking about. Ugh, I'm in hell. Swamp ass city. Change of topic, please. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh dear. Cute. Where are you saying that from? Oh. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. Yo, Sheriff, I'm what's up? Coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Breaker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Yep. Back in the mine palace. I wonder what I look like whenever I'm just sort of zoning out in front of him. Um. Your deputy said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Are Morgan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no. The bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just okay. inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. <sighs> We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? How can I miss this conversation? But it's slowed down ever since Cauldron Lake was fenced off. Let me guess. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. The fence was built just after. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, oh, so, sorry. He like looked at me. Okay. I can't believe that happened. I still feel like I'm gonna be sick. Come on, Ed. Have some pie. Don't take your mind off things. 
No! No, I'm gonna be invasive. What are you fucking eating? Okay, yeah. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Okay. I'm loving this place so far. Sorry, we'll get on with it. What? Yeah, sure. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about. Okay. So nothing to stress about. By the way, can you tell me how like gross it was? Can you recall vividly your memory of how awful that feeling was real quick for me? Just so you lose your lunch. So what did you see in the woods? <laughs> this naked dude came out of the lake and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos and deer masks. He did get shot, yes. We didn't note, like, any bullet holes in the body, though, which is very weird. Some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. Um... What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. Yeah. They were shouting, cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found out. The whole thing was terrifying. It fucking excuse me? But Sorry, I, I had a, like a small amount of vertigo. The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finder's keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. Profiling feels like you could definitely surmise that they found something. But not what it was. That's some wild power you got. Why? This was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a murder. They were telling the truth. Yes, I agree. I, sorry, I was zoning out. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's it, exactly my fucking point. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, fucking uh, woman in the yellow fucking vest. Uh, you win the award of being just as fucking clueless as I am. Balance. Holy you shit. Hand it over. Yeah. Told you not to keep that thing to me. What the fuck? Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <sighs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. That's true. Illuminate, you've got me there. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Ex fucking excuse me? I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. Oh, what shit. What horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, 
I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> Hello, random oracle of the diner. What is your wisdom? Your daughter's dead. Cool. <laughs> Thanks for your wisdom. Fucking eldritch creature. A cult murdering a man is pretty extreme. Why didn't you tell the police what you saw? We did. We told those two idiot deputies they didn't listen. And they wanted to throw Ed and I in jail for that murder. You know, Bright Falls is just Alabama with bigger trees. <laughs> this is my case now, and no one is throwing you in jail. Fuck. If you need anything else, just come to me. Got so, it. like... Something... Something I really, really want to point out for this game, right, is the framing of how the world is right there's there's a lot of shit going on simply in this screen right here we've got someone fucking sweeping shit outside we've got a, like some crazy art different like hints to how the world works here like celebration for all ages can celebrate deer fest happy deer fest located at the farms 10 minutes out of town deer fest due to the controversy of the 10 last year's incident adults are asked not to bring alcohol to this event which is why the sponsorship would be coffee. Wear a life jacket. Beer fast checklist. It, it, like the environment already has so much to tell us. What were you doing at Colgen late last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing. Yeah, we literally just learned that she's a novelist. How in the fuck? I was down at the lake getting some details. Perfectly legal. The the backgrounds are so nuts that I could see the license plate on the car outside. It's a little blurry because my settings are a little lower, but it's all like weird that I it, like all of these are porta potties. What the fuck is this game? Whoa. Sorry, you're probably... It might be like there's a small disconnect because I'm, you know, I'm sort of the one playing it and you're just sort of watching, but there is some crazy storytelling here. I'm just... Two box out of order. The poor thing could only take so much of the same song being played over and over again. As I'm a big fan of Coconut as the next person, but come on. The coconut nut is a giant nut. If you eat too much, you get very fat. Don't touch. What are the food people eating? Can you see it? This one's eating social media. Uh, these I've finished and are just sort of chilling. Um, these were eat like guys are eating some sort of like soup or mash of some kind. That looks like chicken noodle soup to me. Which is definitely at a diner. This guy specifically has this muffin that's like untouched. And then also he clinks his fucking spoon through the bowl like a jackass. Like how are you going to break reality like that? What, what the fuck's wrong with you? I, it's a fucking shame. Hi, questions for you. Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious, but soon enough there will be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Yeah. No. Please seat yourself. So Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. I didn't order any coffee. Also, chat, I'd like to direct your attention to the mug that is fucking terrifying. Hello? Why is this in frame? It looks like a Cheshire cat, which is sort of what this vibe she's giving off is, right? And so, like, whenever you're talking to her, that's in frame to sort of represent her personality, I'm thinking. Right? Where the, it's this creature... 
My guys have Nightingale at the morgue. If you're ready, to that knows them. more and Let's is go. mostly mysterious than we actually know well, in the Cassie, setting. I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the grand wizard or something, are we? It was a it, it it's sort of like Sorry about this, partner. I'm leaving you. The Founders Park was relocated here as our small town keeps growing. We are sure you'll find this placement of the park as bit as wonderful and relaxing as the previous one. Welcome to the new improved Founders Park. I'll be back in a second. Roger. Oh. Open the door wider. Tweet, my sweets. Heard any good news lately? I'm all ears. Ears and eyes and lips. 